floss tube number 24. Today is July 6, 2020, and it's a particularly stormy day in East Texas. And I'm glad to have you here on my channel, which is primarily about cross stitch, but I do occasionally show other things that I like to do. Um, as you'll notice, I mentioned in the last video, I'm not completely moved in, but I'm in my new space. I got the walls painted and the trim is mostly painted. You can see right here. I've got to do some touch up, but it's okay enough that I can start moving in. I am at my work table. I've moved my vintage spool cabinet in. Um, and today after I finish filming, we're gonna finish moving the rest of the furniture in hopefully so I can start sewing. I'm excited. So, um, I'm also having to do this standing up because my new work table is a standing table and I don't have a stool for it yet. So, this will be a little different for me to stand up and film. So, my happy, I'm in here, yay! And I hope the sound is not too weird without a lot of furniture in here. The room is kind of echoey. So, hopefully everything sounds okay. All right, so, Let's get started. Um, I have a finish. Now granted, I did not stitch this whole thing. I finished the Haunted Mansion that my mom had started. This is by Tiny Modernist. And my mom started it, I believe it's on 16 count Ada by Picture This Plus. Thunder. And, uh, she had it mostly done and she just quit working on it so I adopted it from her and finished some stuff on the tree, the stars up here, and then all the stuff along the bottom and on the back stitching. And it's really cute and we'll get this frame for her hopefully pretty soon. I love it. So I do have that finished this week. Um, I haven't worked a whole lot on any one project because I've been working on this a lot. So there were a few days where I didn't stitch at all because I was just so tired. But I have been working on Lindy Stitches Mystery for the Diversity and Inclusion and Representation Matter Sales. And week two came out on Friday. So I sat down Friday evening and... Stitch Clue 2 on Word Noble Steed. This is on Fantasy Dyed Fabrics 28 Count Jubilin. And um, I did change up some of the floss colors because either I just didn't have them, so I got as close as I could. I had the purple for the dress, but it just didn't show up on this pink fabric. So this is going to be really cute, and I can't wait till Friday to see what the next clue is. So, I have an excite about that. And then, I have a new start. I needed a new start, like I needed a hole in the head. Also, Roxy is in here with me. Roxy! So you might hear her little claws tick. There she is. Say hi to Roxy. I haven't moved her bed in here so she doesn't know what to do. But anyway, I have a new start and I don't, I didn't print the thing because I'm working off of Pattern Keeper, but I started the Pandemic Sal, the Pandemic Pattern by Long Dog. And there is what I have done so far. Actually Saturday I stitched this whole bird and then I sat down last night to finish over here and realized the bird was off from about there down so I had to frog it all and redo it. So I am using, here it is, 36 count antique white linen and I'm doing it one over two with Mrs. Thetis in Darling Blue. And I think it's really pretty. And it's probably going to look really good in this room. Yeah. So, that's... I haven't 
done a whole lot of work on stitching this week, like I said, because I've been working trying to get this room ready to move into. So that's all I've worked on. But I do have some stitchy mail. My dear friend Patience sent me a flower frog. And I'm looking through my stash of stuff to find a dish to sit on sit it on so I can use it for scissors. It'll be really cute sitting in here in my room. Thank you, Patience. I love it. Um, I also have some haul. Um, I got my Fortnite fabrics. Fabric of the month. This is Ver Verdigris Agaric. And I actually usually get the brights and my mom gets the neutrals. And so I got a bright yellow and we traded. I gave her the yellow and she gave me this one. I just think I might use this more. And then um, I also bought a few patterns from a D-Stash group that I found on Facebook. Um, I'll put a link down below, but one thing that you do need to know is she doesn't have PayPal, so you have to send her a money order. So if you're not willing to do that, it's probably not the group for you, but I found a lot of good things there. So, first off, I got uh, Jenny Bean and Friends by Shakespeare's Peddler. Uh, I love those houses. I love this one right here. It's going to be really cute when stitched up. Tell me ye, and, ye knowing and discerning few where I may find, find, may find a friend both firm and true. I can talk. I really can. All right, and then I got Cricut Collection, Well-Dressed Man, I love his little checky guy right here, and his hat. So, I have a piece of blue linen that I need to see if this will fit on because I think it would be really cute. Um, and then I got a Heartstring Samplery Stars and Diamonds. And it's so small, I can't read it, but I like Beth's stuff, so I just had to have that. And then the last piece I got from the D-Stash group is from Blue Ribbon Designs, Patriotic Sampler and needle, Needlework Smalls. Foxy. She's scratching. Anyway, I think this is really cute and put it in my other whip pile. Okay, I, I did, my mom, love you mom, she placed um, some bids at an online auction and she won. She actually won about eight of these in the auction. The auction house, actual physical location is about an hour away, so Saturday I drove up there to pick up the stuff and it's located inside an antique mall so while I was there we had to go in masked up anyway so we decided that my son and I we decided that we would look around and I got a few things so let me show you I got this really cool real sick vintage needle craft book it's dated from 1959 which is really cool and there's not much cross stitch in it I think it just kind of assumes you know cross stitch, but there is, here's, <laughs> it flipped right open to the cross stitch page. There's the cross stitch page. Um, but it's got other embroidery, sewing, uh, making doll clothes, uh, tailoring for men's pants and shirts. So I collect vintage needlework books, so this will go There'll be a bookshelf in here at one point. And this will go on the shelf with the other vintage books. Um, I also found this cute little tin. And it opens. I don't think it's very vintage, but it's really cute and has the vintage designs on it. So I think it'll be cute sitting on a shelf either in here or in the other sewing room. And then the last thing. I may have to back up just to show you this. Um, I found this piece of vintage perforated paper. Got 
guys, this was five dollars. Five dollars. So it was it's perfect. It's the right color for the room. So this will get hung up in here somewhere. I'm not real sure. Once I get all the furniture moved in, I have some stitchy pieces I want to hang and I have my uh, vintage dress prints that I want to put up as well. So I'm going to get all the furniture in and then decide where I'm going to hang stuff. I also have an, an antique clock that I inherited. Wall clock with a pendulum that I want to hang. So we'll see. So plants. Friday starts our frog warts retreat. My box is out for delivery. So I'm excited about that. Um, and there are stitching challenges, and I sat down last night, hold on, find them in my book, and wrote down my, what I was going to do for all the challenges, so that's going to be my plans pretty much. I'm going to finish the room. I need to start sewing. I have an order for some bags that I need to start sewing. So that's why I need to get the room finished so I can sew. So my plans this week are to get started on those bags and get ready for frog warts. Um, so I'm going to get everything ready for the challenge. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got Quidditch games and stash dives and watching movies and all kinds of stuff and I'm really excited for it. So I'm on one of the Quidditch teams, Hufflepuff. So we'll, we'll see. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and meeting a lot of people and I can't wait to participate in more of them. So um, I didn't have a, a pass the stash last week, but I do have one for this week. So um, one of my favorite friends and philosophy people is Bindi Stitchy and a while back I stitched Alice's Mad Plant so I'm done with it and I'd like to pass the pattern on to you so if you would like to get this Bindi Stitchy pattern just um, tell me that you would like to stitch the plant I'm gonna look for the word plant so, there you go. So, I know this video is a lot shorter. I didn't have a whole lot of whips. And so, it's a little short and sweet this week. But, hopefully next time I film a video, maybe it'll be a tour of my new room. I'd like to do that. To give you a tour once I get everything in and things started hanging on the wall. I, I know it's going to take a while. I want to put some shelving up above the doors and um, things like that. But we'll give it a tour when it's mostly finished. So for now, Roxy, Roxy and I say happy stitching everyone.